This is a review of the Wandering Hour Kickstarter watch from a company that I'm not really sure how to pronounce, so I'll just call it Mande Brot because it is spelled M A N D E T B R O T E. I'm not really sure what that means. I contacted the company and they said something along the lines of they needed a name that they could copyright. Uh, I believe it's a Hong Kong company. The actual quality of the watch holds up. I've been, I've wore it for a couple weeks straight and uh, it holds up. It um, has sapphire glass. It's got a tiny bit of a dome to it and it's a, a very nice watch all things considered. It's only a couple of hundred on Kickstarter. I think it might be 300 or so on uh, their website now. And it is a very simple wandering hour design with a central second, which is actually slightly curved to go around the curve of the domed glass, which is very cool. It is powered by a Miota movement and uh, it uh, keeps pretty good time. I had it going for a week solid without ever really needing to adjust it. I will say the one downside I've noticed is that right on the hour, the numbers don't quite line up 100% to, to match the 60 and the 0, but that's really the only downside I've noticed other than the inside of the lugs right here is pretty unpolished. It's, uh, it's almost sharp, um, but they, I, I know this company was probably doing everything that they could to keep costs down because the price point for this watch compared to the price point to a lot of other wandering hours uh, on the market right now this is you can't beat it the price of this watch considering what you get is absolutely worth it uh, for those who don't know the wandering hour mechanism uh, basically is the hour is on the satellites here and the minutes start at on the hour to halfway through the hour to the next hour, which is where the new number starts over. And on about 45 after, the satellite rotates within itself so that the next number lines up. So right now, this is a 9. It needs to be the 12. So on the 45 after, that satellite will rotate and 12 will be in the right position and that's how it keeps up. You can see a tiny bit of the mechanism underneath the the uh, satellites here and uh, that's it's got a very nice aesthetic. The ray hut or chapter ring is slightly elevated. You can see a little bit of a gap between the uh, the, the ray hut and the dial which is a uh, solarized stainless steel. And all of the numbers up on top here and all of the hour hand numbers or our satellite numbers are loomed. And so they glow really nicely uh, once they get a little bit of a charge to them. It's got uh, this swept back case back to kind of hide the width but all things considered, uh, it, it is actually quite slim on the wrist and looks very nice on the wrist. The strap is nothing special, but it is a match for the color. Uh, it's a green green, and the stitching is a contrasting black. You've got a very, very simple buckle with the company name M-A-N-D-E-T-B-R-O-T-E. -E. But it's a, a very nice strap. It's got the uh, quick release spring bars so that you can change them out really easily. No, not a branded crown, but again, uh, their 
cutting costs wherever they can. Um, and then they've even got a nice contrasting high polish rim to the uh, top case uh, right next to the vertical uh, brushed steel on the uh, rim there. The, I guess you would call a bezel, but it's not really much of a bezel. It more just goes straight from the case straight to the chapter ring. And uh, it's, a, it's a very nice two or $300 watch. Uh, I've quite liked it. And the balletic movement of the chapter wheels is quite nice. For the money, you can't really beat it. Uh, I think they're going for just over 300 on their website right now. Kickstarter price was about 200 And uh, I'm quite happy with it. it. It looks really, really slick. For the price you're paying, you're not really going to find a lot else out there that uh, doesn't match up to this. Thanks for watching.